I'm here with Raoul de Villiers and we're going to go through a couple of the key bikes in the uh, 2013 Silverback range and also just talk a little bit about the brand. Raoul, how are you? Good in yourself, Robert. Very good. Um, first up, Silverback is uh, probably a brand that people might not be familiar with. Could you give us a little bit of background? Background of Silverback, it was started seven years ago in South Africa and it's uh, since then been moved to Germany as a head office and with a good strong product team in South Africa for a lot of testing. So over the years it's matured quite well with that combination. Okay, so this year, or 2013, you've got some quite exciting bikes uh, in the pipeline or, or ready to roll really. Um, let's start with the road bike, the, the Scalera. Okay. Uh, the Scalera is our new road bike and we wanted to incorporate a lot of uh, good aerodynamic features in the frame and combine it with a slightly classic feel of a straight top tube and C2 dimensions which give it also a kind of time trial aerodynamic feel to it. And how does it fit in weight wise? Because quite often with aero bikes there's a little bit of a weight penalty. How does the Scalera fare? We were aware of that and we looked at the ride quality of big aerodynamic frames. Often they've got too much material which relates to bad vibrations kind of so to speak going through the frame so we stuck quite carefully to quite thin uh, seat stays and uh, chain stays to keep it quite supple and natural feeling in the back and also tapering down on the top to you which is your flex areas actually over there for the comfort that you feel in the rear and the front end we kept, kept quite stiff with the tapered head tube solid fork and down tube going into a very stiff bottom bracket to give the drive of the bike stiff at the front. So that balance means that we feel it's quite comfortable. Um, and sorry, to go back to the weight, it's uh, a thousand grams frame weight. So it's still quite a competitive frame weight, yeah. And is it, it's, a, it's available in more, obviously more than one model. I believe that this year at Eurobike it's actually uh, won an award. Very correct. Uh, it's got a disc brake version of the bike. And it, uh, I think a lot of it was to do the innovation of how we combine disc brakes in with XTR hubs, sensor lock hubs, with GRS mechanical levers and things. So it made quite a safe um, road bike feel with disc brakes and all sorts of features had integrated stem bolts and seat clamp bolts, which made the whole bike quite unique and slick. Moving on to Silverback's mountain bikes, now we're going to have a look at the Synchro. And I believe, um, interesting story here, it's a 275. Tell us about 275. Okay, correct. 275 is a size in between 29 and 26er. It's 33% bigger than a 26 inch wheel and it's got a lot of agility that the 29er sometimes lacks. Other than the wheel size, what we've got in terms of frame technology is similar to our 29er Storm where we focus on quite a solid stiff front end, tapered head tube. Uh, a thinning top tube into seat stays which are quite la um, vertically flexible and laterally stiff. That's the real focus of it, to have a nice natural feeling frame. Excellent.